Every Halloween time, we tend to get an onslaught of mid to lower budget horrors, and that's not really a bad thing at all. In the past 10 years or so, we've gotten such entries like Terrifier, Creep, and The Void. Now The Jester is here. It's based on a short and takes a lot of inspiration from Art the Clown. So should you be adding this one to your watch list? A malevolent being known as the Jester terrorizes the inhabitants of a small town on Halloween night, including two estranged sisters who must come together to find a way to defeat this evil entity. So right from the get-go, this looks like a ripoff of Damien Leone's Terrifier, because the Jester is a clown-faced being, and he sneaks around silently, sometimes moving in an unsettling, whimsical manner, then as he torments those that he's pursuing. But for all of the similarities with the title character, this film, it doesn't go down the gory slasher route, instead opting for more of a psychological thriller angle. Now, the theme focuses heavily on grief and anger, using a father's death to bring together two sisters who are basically strangers to each other. And pretty much every time the jester makes an appearance, some sort of extreme sadness or despair is being experienced by the characters. Now, I really appreciated the dedication to mime that the jester performs. He's not speaking, but using the close following technique combined with this slow tilting of the head, you know, kind of. It's kind of like when a dog hears something and gives that inquisitive look. Well, there's a certain level of unease that's established as the jester executes these moves. Now, for the characters, especially the two sisters, they're moody, whiny, and unfortunately rather boring. They're directed to act in a brooding and distant manner, staring off into the void in some sort of contemplation for extended periods of time. And while there is some character development, providing some background on why the two have been estranged and then why there's tension between them, it's rolled out in a way that's uninteresting, which the deliveries then that drone on more than elicit sympathy or emotion. And even when there's a chase sequence, or more accurately, a slow following scene, while a small amount of tension is present, any interactions of the characters with the jester are more subdued and then they're dull rather than being anxiety filled or creepy. Now, there are a couple of kills that are fun, and they do provide some excitement, but the majority of the time, the pace drags as the meandering story plays out. And seriously, I'm, I'm most bummed by the near-identical portrayal of the villain to be like Art the Clown. I mean, the short of The Jester, it was made in 2016, and it appears to have a pretty large following of fans. And in that one, The Jester he has the same orange suit that he wears in this feature-length movie, but now his mask is more part of his head, rather than simply a face with an elastic strap to hold it on. Now, I do like the look of what we get, and I also like the semi-supernatural attributes that the Jester possesses. He's definitely a physical being, but he can also quickly appear and disappear, leading me to believe that he's not fully a flesh and blood being. Now, the movie's mercifully only 90 minutes long, but even then, it is still too long for the story content. I mean, I was all on board for this and then willing to overlook the blatant similarities to art, but because the narrative also can't maintain steady tension or dread, opting instead for long portions of nothingness, my interest, it waned pretty quickly, wishing for more interactions with the jester and then wanting to see his antics, whether they led to gore or not. Now, this is available on demand, and depending on the price, you may give it a shot. Just know that while the concept is solid, especially as the story focuses on guilt, regret, and sadness, the lack of actual content for the story harms the overall execution. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and some violence. I give The Jester two out of five couches. So what are some horror movies that you're planning on watching this spooky season? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.